Andy, it's wonderful to be with you here for the launch of the Pennsylvania Civil War Roadshow uh, here at the Heinz History Center to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the American Civil War. And I bring greetings from the Pennsylvania Historical Museum Commission and the PA Civil War 150 Committee and all of our partners. Why do we commemorate historical events like the Civil War? Well, remembering is how we know who we are. The stories we tell about ourselves, our families, our communities, and our nation. The Civil War and its stories continue to be an ongoing conversation that we have with ourselves about ourselves. Four years ago, Pennsylvania's historical organizations came together to begin that conversation and to ensure that Pennsylvania was ready to tell its stories of the men and women and the communities where they lived who were forever transformed by the struggle. From the beginning, we wanted to engage new audiences and a new generation in understanding the Civil War and its consequences. We wanted to commemorate, we wanted this commemoration to tell a more complete story that included women and African Americans, home front as well as battlefields, and be, and be one that touched every community of Pennsylvania, just as the Civil War did 150 years ago. The results of our four-year planning partnership have produced a statewide website at www.pacivilwar150.com, publications, education programs, distinctive Pennsylvania merchandise, a full schedule of events, and this 1,000 square foot exhibition in a 53 foot trailer that will be crisscrossing the state as a moving billboard, educational program, and a community event. We're so pleased that the Pennsylvania Civil War Roadshow was able to launch its 2011 tour and its four-year tour here in Pittsburgh this weekend. As it travels around the state over the next four years to all 67 counties, the Roadshow will be accompanied by programming and events that will enhance the sustainability of local institutions by attracting visitors, developing new audiences, and forging new marketing partnerships. The next stops uh, include uh, Scranton in Lackawanna County next weekend, Cumberland County, uh, and it'll be coming back to Western Pennsylvania at Bedford, Somerset, Clarion, and Jefferson counties. It will be in Philadelphia over the 4th of July, uh, and in early October, its last stop will be at the Bloomsburg Fair in Columbia County, which is a, a, one of the uh, fairs that attracts 500,000 people. So we really are looking at sharing this exhibit uh, with many, many people. And you all are getting among the first to see it. The Roadshow's interactive ex exhibition includes the home front stories of railroads, which we have seen <laughs> right here, uh, coal, iron, and agriculture, the raw materials and products that supported the Union effort during four long years of war. It features the manufacture of ammunition at the Allegheny Arsenal here in Pittsburgh and commemorates the young women who lost their lives in the tragic explosion who were also casualties of the war. Some stories are easier to tell than others. Some stories take on new meanings at different times. This commemoration of the Civil War, for the first time, truly acknowledges many untold stories, and especially those of African Americans, whose lives were forever changed, and especially those who volunteered and served valiantly in the United States Colored Troops. The planning process, as uh, Andy mentioned, has brought together state agencies, nonprofits, and private sector partners in an unprecedented statewide partnership. I want to particularly thank the Heinz History Center and President Andy Masick, along with the Historical Society of Pennsylvania, for their leadership role on the steering committee, as well as the Pennsylvania Humanities Council and other statewide partners. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our initial funders, the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Institute for Museum and Library Services, the Pennsylvania Department of Economic and Community Development, and the Philadelphia Industrial Development Corporation. My congratulations to our uh, Roadshow production team. Uh, Reamer and Talbot were the curators. Uh, Metcalf, our designers. Uh, the exhibition was fabricated by craftsmen. And our tour operators who are with us today, the Borden Agency, who are responsible for bringing it around and driving the truck and making sure everything happens. Uh, 
and the web component of the exhibition uh, was designed by Smith Brothers, who's a firm right here in Pittsburgh. So we really have uh, brought a, a wonderful team together. I also want to recognize this morning John Sider, who is our Civil War 150 coordinator. John, wave. <laughs> <laughs> Check here at the Heinz yeah, History sure. Center and the volunteers and other staff who have made today possible. This weekend's events are part of a four-year anniversary. The anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg in 2013 will bring special attention to Pennsylvania and along with many other local and regional events will help reignite interest in Civil War history, increase tourism, attract visitors to Pennsylvania's historic sites and museums, and remind everyone of Pennsylvania's role as the keystone state in American history.